Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to farm a noun while you're asleep or at work. So many methods have been posted online on how to farm a noun while you're AFK. The thing is with all these methods, um, they use auto clickers like GS auto clicker for example. And they're not specifically made for Rainbow Six Siege. So what would happen to me is that the game would crash after an hour or two. So I decided to create an application to, well, farm a noun on Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, the yield of this method is uh, around 650 to 700 per hour. So for a night of 10 hours, it's 7,000 renown. Uh, the rest of the video is going to be a tutorial on how to install the application and how to use it. To install the application, click on the link in the description below. This will bring you to this Dropbox page. You can click here and download. This will download thfarm directory zip can create a new folder, name it whatever you want, and drag the zip file into it. Open up the folder, right click on the zip, and extract here. Once it's extracted, click on the folder. Inside of it, you're going to farm, uh, found, <laughs> find TH farm application. Right click on it and create a shortcut. Uh, you can rename the shortcut to, I don't know, farm app, for example, and you can put it on your desktop. You can also use the Doka icon uh, as the icon for the shortcut. So, up, change icon, and there you go. Okay. Once it's done, you can double click on it and it will open the application. So to, for the first time you use it, uh, you need to set it up by clicking config. So now we need to select the path to Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, for me, it's in my D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, uh, Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six. Uh, now select the amount of, uh, enter the amount of seconds the game takes to boot. Uh, usually it's between 100 and 120 seconds. Uh, I'm going to put 110. Confirm. Make sure Rainbow Six is closed. When ready, press next. So this is going to boot the game. So we're just going to wait. Once the game is booted, just go inside the game and press next. Now you only have to, you just have to follow the instructions basically. Um, so we're going to go to settings and options after we're connected to the servers. Options. Next. On the gameplay tab, go to matchmaking preferences. So as you can see, I'm on the gameplay tab and matchmaking preferences is here. Um, if you don't see both the application and the game, at the same time on your screen. Um, I would advise to uh, go into display and go into borderless mode. If you're in uh, full screen, you're not going to be able to see both. So uh, click on matchmaking preferences and press next. In terrorist on game mode preferences, set all to no except protect hostage. Uh, so as you can see, for me it's already set it up. So no, no, Yes, protection of hostage, yes. So we're going to press next. In T-Hunt map preferences, set all to no except tower. So as you can see down here, we have all the different T-Hunt maps. Um, and the only one that is on yes is tower. So next. Go back to the game mains menu, when ready, press next. Oh, I'm going to go back. Um, place the application on the top right corner and press next. So now every click is going to register as a mouse position. So don't click everywhere. Just follow the exact instructions. Click on the middle of your screen. Click on change game mode. Terrorist hunt. Lone wolf. Normal. Wait for the mission to open up.
and click on restaurant. Select dock, confirm loadout. So then it's going to put us inside the mission. You just have to wait till the end. And at the end of it, you're going to click on vote for retry. So once you reach the end screen, all you have to do is wait and then click on vote for retry. And that's pretty much it, you're done. So now there are two ways to um, use this application. So either you can go into terrorist hunt game mode. So you have the game booted, you go into terrorist hunt game mode and on the um, bomb site selection screen, press, press start on the application. The application is automatically going to detect that the game is turned on and it's going to click on the right spots for you. So that's the first way to use it. If you want to stop it, just click on stop. The other way is if your game is closed, so we're going to close the game. Oh. If your game is closed, all you can do is start the app, press start, and it's automatically going to boot the game, um, go into terrorist hunt game mode, and start farming for you. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I really hope you enjoy the application. Um, if you have any issues or questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you've made any mistakes during the config uh, step, just uh, close the application, close Rainbow Six, and press config again, and start over. If you wish to financially support me, there is a link to my PayPal account in the description below. Uh, every dollar helps, and every dollar is going to be greatly appreciated. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, hope you enjoy the application, and yeah, see ya!